Welcome to Texas A&M Dallas Center. This is the botany house where I have my aquaponic and hydroponic research. I'll give you a quick tour and talk about the science behind what we are doing. Uh, this is a, a coupled aquaponic system, meaning the fish and the plants are connected together through filtration, heater, uh, basket filter, air, water pump, air pump, and this, uh, the brand name is AST. It's a very ingenious idea of how the filtration happens. It works by air pressure. The air pressure fills up this tank, and then when it reaches a certain you know pressure uh, the uh, air goes through here and then it basically starts a siphon and sucks in all the air from here to this low point which is filled with beads and then the beads shake and uh, release the uh, uh, the uh, <coughs> solids waste that was accumulated now this is low pressure this part is low pressure so the solid waste goes um, from this part to this part and accumulates at the lowest point of uh, air pressure which is this side and once a day i flush it and uh, get rid of it actually i don't get rid of it i'll tell you what we'll do in a minute. so anyway this is a quick run on aquaponic system the media bed is one type of uh, growing uh, system on aquaponic you can have deep water culture you can have media bed this work by a uh, siphon which is another simple physics principle uh, the water is pouring here filling up the bed and when the water rises and reaches a point reaches a point you see the tube inside here when the water uh, overflows and starts pouring inside that inner uh, tube it creates a vacuum uh, and that vacuum starts sucking all the water to drain it down and basically it drains the bed so this system is what we call um, flood and drain uh, type of uh, hydro uh, you know uh, production system you have deep water culture uh, you have nft uh, this is uh, this is popular because it's very easy to grow this is neutral stone so here's some chemistry there's neutral stone um, uh, this is volcanic pebbles that's been heated and uh, so it's neutral i'm growing next time uh, second run uh, of uh, lettuce this is what we call gut tension. You see the water droplet accumulating on the edge here. That's what we call gut tension, telling you that there's enough uh, moisture in the soil, in the media, that's, uh, and enough humidity in the air uh, overnight, of course. Uh, so the constant root pressure pushing, pumping water into the leaves, uh, but because the air has enough uh, humidity at least uh, 70 percent then you can have that develop water droplets accumulate at the edge um, of the leaves where they have holes so this is uh, aquaponic let me show you where it all starts with it all starts with the fish i'm growing tilapia which is uh, very popular they know it's time to feed you start seeing getting agitated and watch uh, when i hit what happens it's the morning they see a shadow they hear movement or whatever they know it's time to eat this feed is uh, 38 percent protein which is what they like to have uh, enough protein uh, like I said, tilapia is uh, a popular um, fish used in aquaponic for many reasons. It tolerates um, high pH, low pH, high st fish stocking density. You can put a lot of fish into that tank. Uh, you know, 
cold temperature, very warm temperature. They're very tolerant to extreme conditions. That's why they are popular. And you know, when they reach a pound, uh, they can be sold. I got these when they're about 10 grams, you know, like a third of an ounce. And now they are about half a pound, 200 grams. So here's the, this side view of the system with the uh, water pump, basket filter that stops, it catches the big solids. Of course, the blue parts is the AST bead filter. Uh, and uh, the blue thing there is the air pump. You need to keep adding air, otherwise they uh, will not, uh, they will die quickly, especially if the temperature is warm. We have three systems. That's for replication, so you can do statistical analysis. And I have three systems that are decoupled. Like I said, these are coupled, meaning they are connected. Fish when the plants are connected. But you see here that this is decoupled. The plants are not connected to the fish. So basically here we have the aquaculture and we have the hydroponic. When you combine them together, the aqua part from aquaculture and the ponic part from, from hydroponics put together makes aquaponic. That's the origin of the word aquaponic. So here we have a, a you know, miniature system of raising fish, aquaculture, you have the fish tank, you have a, a water heater, inline water heater, you have another bead filter, you have another basket filter, and then the fish waste, whenever I flush this, is saved here and used uh, to feed the, um, the uh, hydroponic systems. So the purpose of the research is to compare aquaponic, um, decoupled aquaponic, and over there where I have the Dutch bucket hydroponic systems. I'm not going to go into details, but briefly, I have a Dutch bucket type of uh, um, hydroponic production. This white uh, channels here is what we call NFT, nutrient film technique. Look them up. This is where all your uh, hydroponic lettuce that you buy is grown like this. And this is a deep water culture uh, of uh, hydroponic production. We're doing research on various fertilizers, on spinach and some lettuce. And you see the plants uh, are sitting in a nutrient solution. And to avoid the roots rotting, um, we, uh, there's an air pump uh, pumping air, pumping air into the water so the roots won't rot. So this is what we call deep water culture because you see we have a deep layer of water. Um, see, here's the air bubbles. Deep water culture. This is the NFT. This is the Dutch bucket and that's the flood and drain uh, production system. The type of research I'm doing is to um, see what I can do with that waste. Can I digest it uh, better and release more nutrient from the solid phase that can be used as fertilizer, which is uh, done here in these tanks. I have uh, uh, pH 6 and 6.5 and I have uh, the addition of uh, bacterial inoculant and fungal inoculant so three pH treatments control 6 and 6.5 and plus or minus um, uh, fungal and bacterial inoculant alone or together gives you uh, 12 uh, tanks and my replication are over time I am repeating it uh, over time so the idea is which of these treatments will get me more nutrient released in the liquid phase from the solid waste, solid phase that can be re recycled to feed, uh, the, uh, feed the plants instead of being thrown away. So you've seen chemistry, you've seen math, you've seen simple phys physics. Um, math is very important, of course, statistics. And I want to remind you, uh, with science, um, 
1% inspiration, 98% uh, perspiration, and 2% attention to detail. Have a great day.